a couple of, uh, you know, we'll, we'll keep it brief. Uh, okay, man. A couple of small things, you know. Uh, I was at Lollapalooza when you and the guys were there back in Chicago back in the day, and you sent uh, you sent a song out to BT. I don't know if you remember that. Uh, to B E T. No, B T. B T. BT. Cat. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, yeah, B T. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you had everyone around me bawling their eyes out. So. That oh. Was, yeah, that was very uplifting. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. That's a yeah. while ago, though, right, Davy? Yeah, that was a while ago. That was okay. Lollapalooza in 20 whatever. But anyway, a couple of things I just want to ask you and then and and then we can move on. You okay, know, my brother. New single Higher Power. Tell yes. me what tell me what this means to you. Uh well, the this new song Thanks for Asking um called Higher Power, it just means um I don't know, it, it right now it's like the song that gets us going as a band and makes us feel alive and I think, I mean, of course, bands always say that about their new songs. Mm. Um, and in this case, it's really true. Like, it's, it's, um, it feels so fun to play mm. and so fun to sing. And I like what it's about, which is about, you know, finding the specialness in everybody else and in yourself and, and in the universe in general. And it, it's, it makes me feel good when I'm a bit down. So, uh, you know, speaking of universe, has this ever been done before? It premiered in space? How did that come, along, come about? Um, I think that it's, um, I don't know the history of space debuts. But, <laughs> well, but, I don't think, there's many. <laughs> but um, this came about because this very sweet astronaut called Tomas mm -hmm. um, had said he'd listen to Coldplay once or something like that. So... So somehow we got to communicating with him and he very kindly said, yeah, I'll do your first play of your song. Wow. And uh, then we got to speak to him live in real time while he was flying upside down above Senegal in Africa. So it was just cool. Yeah, totally cool. You know, it was produced and co-written right, with Max Martin and you've been collaborating with him uh, over the years. How's, uh, how's that relationship? And you guys have a connection, right? Yeah, Max is um, he 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 I would say is the like the coach that joins the team and makes them feel like they can do anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, he's like our Phil Jackson, I think. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or, oh, yeah. or, or or Doc Rivers or someone like that. And um, he he's just added this whole uh, depth and strength and fun to being in the band. It feels so new, and I'm so grateful that he has come in. So, uh, speaking of writing, that process obviously had to be a lot different over the last year, you know, with with Johnny, Guy, Will, you, and mm -hmm. whomever your collaborators are. Uh, was it more challenging? Well, that's a great question, David. Actually, 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 it was not different for us at all. We've we've always worked in this way where a, a lot of the time. For whatever reason, the beginning of the song gets sent to me from wherever it comes from in the ether. <laughs> and then I, and I spend a bit of time getting, getting it vaguely presentable, just in a very raw form, to the others and then to whoever's producing. And, and so we've, we've been doing that for the whole of our band existence. It always used to be like that, even, at, even when we were living in London and the other three would go out drinking and... I would when they came back. I would say, "Oh, look, this is this is what we might want to work on." Then then they add their stuff. Yeah. So it's always had in a sort of assembly line thing, and then yeah, and so then we also right after the pub though, right? You would just say. Well, sometimes, yeah. Oh. And and uh, and then occasionally we also that we also jam a lot, and sometimes that leads to a song, or someone else brings in a loop or something like that, or an idea. But most often it's it's in that sort of assembly line way. So it, so we were lucky that we were able to get together enough times last year to realize those ideas you know there's a there's a remix of the song coming out with yeah Tesco, and i know that you have worked with the chain smokers before yeah so how do those collaborations happen and how did you get hooked up with tiesto um tiesto of course we've known about for years and he did a remix of a song of ours called um paradise which mm -hmm. we really loved so i think this time we said here's a new song do you want to try a remix and he did and it, and it sounds kind of good he's so good at what he does oh he is and he's um good. 
So that, th those, those collaborations come about in two ways. Sometimes people approach us, like, do we want to do anything? And then other times, I'm just into what they're doing, and we, we reach out and say, you know, do you have any, especially with DJs and those kind of people, do you have any spare loops you don't know what to do with, or just <laughs> bits and pieces? And then we see what happens, and sometimes it leads to a good place. You know, what's funny is, okay, I am approaching my 20th Coldplay concert very soon. Right. Yeah, it's I'm on 18. Okay. And, wow, man, uh, thank you. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean... Thanks, uh, David. That means a lot to me, man. Yeah, we, we, you know, me and my friends love to go out and see you and all your visuals that accompany all your songs. You know, what do you envision for i know the higher power video is it's in the works so what do you what yeah. can fans expect from it from the video or from shows uh from the video higher power oh from the video higher power well davy we, we um a lot of our new stuff is set, well, all of our new stuff actually is set in a solar system called the spheres mm -hmm. and uh that is a group of planets and one of them is called Chaotica, which is kind of a trash planet where all the outcasts and rejects go physically and, you know, um, metaphorically. And uh, the video is set on that planet Chaotica. Oh, that's that's what you can expect. And, and I think um, everything we're doing right now is heading in that kind of way. Just a couple more questions, Chris, and I'll let you go. You know, you I'm, I'm into it, man. You ask me whatever you want. Okay, you perform the songs, you know, on multiple shows like American Idol, which you were a mentor for, which is exciting, and get a whole new generation of singers and people performing Coldplay music. Did mm. you take away anything from mentoring? Did you learn anything from these kids? Yeah, or? absolutely, I did. That's a great question. I learned two things. One is that we would never, ever have done well on a show like that because we're not good enough to sing like that. <laughs> and two, which is really true, and two, um, that there is so much talent in the world, so much. And really, whether you get to do that as your job is, is down to so many little factors. So, so it, it's humbling for someone who's been able to do this as a job to realize, well, of course, I've been given a talent and some gifts, and, but also so much is to do with where I was born or what I look like or what language I speak. So... It's just good to do a show like that, to be reminded that there, there is specialness in, in everybody. Did you see like someone that you, you look at as a professional musician and go, wow, these kids are good. Like, I don't want to name, but like, do you see talent there or? Oh yeah, man, absolutely. Especially now because those shows attract all kinds of musicians now and songwriters and everything. There's no, there's no, boundaries between like oh it's too pop or it's too this or too that so there was a, a guy on it I, th I think came second this year this guy Willie mm -hmm. who is just an incredible singer there were some great songwriters um that guy whose name I can't remember the young guy that got kicked off because of mm -hmm. some tweet or something like that yeah 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 he was a brilliant he's a br he's gonna do great he he's a brilliant songwriter and um yeah, so, so I saw talent in everybody. Yeah, so, you know, you, like I said, you perform the awards on award shows, and I watched the Brit Awards, which I actually, and I'm going to take a shot in my own country right now, that the Brit Awards knock it out of the park, and I wish that we could take some production values here a little bit more from producers and creators on, on the Brit Awards, your Coldplay experience is, you know, is at the next level for the fans. And when I saw you, what building were you on when you performed the record? On the Brits. On the Brits, yes. Well, we were actually on a big barge, on a, on a boat oh, yeah. in the river. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I in saw front, of the, in front of the O2. Yeah. yeah, the O2, yes. which is a big arena. And we were there and uh, on, the te on the River Thames, and um, I think the reason why you don't see that very often and why we don't do that very often is because it's extremely expensive. Yeah, and, well, and we have, you know, we have to save up. To do performances like that, you have to, we have to save up a bit because, and we, we were able to spend money on that because it was our first big TV show back and everything. Mm -hmm. but, it, but, you know, it was, it was really fun to do. 
what an award show in special effects. And as I was watching you and the guys perform, and when those dancers came on, I was holograms, like, holograms, yeah. Uh, what is going on here? I said, yeah. they just, they once again just up the ante. <laughs> Who, who's in charge of that stuff? Like, it is so good. It is so good and fun to watch. Hey, David, you're, well, you're making me feel so good, man. Um, <laughs> well, well we, we, we're so lucky that we have, we have our inner circle, you know, yep. and that's a very creative environment and then and then then we get amazing people like max martin or there's a lady we work with called misty buckley who's a brilliant production designer or dave myers a video director and i think if we can explain to them like this is the general feel that we're going for and then let them run with it you get people really firing on all cylinders and uh, it feels right now that we have just incredible creative people around us helping us to do all these things well, I can't wait. You know, I'm going to let you go, Chris. I appreciate your time for everything. And, you know, the, the higher power. I can't wait to see you live again. It's appreciate your time. Thank you. Okay, my man.